Hi, my name is Sadie Bartholomew and I'm delighted to present my application for the SSI Fellowship Programme 2022. Who am I professionally? Well, if I had to summarise that in a sentence, it would be as follows that Educated in physics, I've been working for four years as an effective research software engineer in the field of climate and weather under two different roles and contributing widely to open source software in the process. To expand on that, my formal education culminated in a physics degree that combined three years of undergraduate study with a master's year at Durham University. Notably, during this course, I first learned to program and a computational master's project in particle physics phenomenology first sparked my interest in software for research, openness of research artifacts and high performance computing. Those interests prompted me to join the Met Office as a graduate level scientific software engineer. I was in that role for two years, tasked largely with developing and supporting open source Python infrastructure libraries used to configure and run models for operational forecasting and research at the Met Office and other meteorological organisations internationally. Then, at the start of 2020, I joined the Computational Modelling Services Group within the National Centre for Atmospheric Science, based at and as a member of the Department of Meteorology at the University of Reading. And I've been working as a computational scientist there ever since. What do I do in my role? Firstly, I collaboratively advance open source tools and infrastructure related to the Easiness 3 and Excalibur projects, notably an Earth Science Data Analysis Library called CF Python and towards support for climate modelling documentation as part of the ESDoc project. Both are varied lines of work involving development and maintenance of software, in the former case, performance optimization and support and training for end users of modelling communities. My teams and I strive for high quality and fair software. For example, our library implementing the data model central to CF Python was peer reviewed and published last year in the Journal of Open Source Software. Secondly, I support and promote community standards, in particular the NetCDF Climate and Forecast or CF metadata conventions. As well as supporting the CF conventions indirectly through my work on CF Python, I promote them as a member of the official information management and support team. For all of these endeavours, I work with public GitHub repositories, so everything is open and transparent. Finally, but pertinently, I champion research software engineering and related knowledge exchange. I've done this in numerous capacities, and I like to highlight my work in presenting, organising, coordinating, mentoring and reviewing. Namely, I present at numerous research software events, both domain specific and domain generic, with examples highlighted. I was on the committee that organised this year's virtual RSE conference, September RSE, and I'm one of a network coordinating knowledge exchange for the Excalibur project. Moreover, I've recently been mentoring a young learner for SSI's upcoming software camp, and for a year or so I've been a reviewer for the Journal of Open Source Software. This is me presenting my demonstration virtually for Source last year, which proved to be popular. I enjoy sharing my enthusiasm for all things research software on Twitter, for example. So, what do I propose if selected for a fellowship? Well, my plans are divided into two distinct components, namely a first aimed at promoting the CF conventions via a hackathon and development of training, and a second focused on organising workshops related to high performance computing. My plans for the former, given the scope of the CF conventions, which standardise earth science metadata for a file format which is highly popular in the domain, NetCDF, would be directed at benefiting both consumers and producers of such data. The software sustainability benefits of these conventions are clear. If CF compliant, corresponding data becomes more machine possible and comp comprehensible to humans, and in turn software working with such data can be made simpler and more maintainable. But not everyone who uses such data is aware of the CF conventions. It could be more widely promoted. Furthermore, the process by which the standard is continually developed is good in that it's community-led and open, but there are technical aspects which would be greatly improved for better throughput to augment the aforementioned benefits. For example, many manual steps to be handled by the admin team. However, we on the information management support team are fitting in such efforts around our funded day jobs, so we can't devote much time to getting these realised. This is especially sad because we've registered plenty of great ideas for infrastructure and workflow improvements on the issue trackers of the CF Convention's GitHub organisation. I'd like to address the need to promote the conventions further by initiating the development of training which would predominantly cover effective use of and best practice with the CF conventions. I'd like to tackle the other problem outlined, namely the desire to improve the technical workflow aspects by organising a hackathon with the CF conventions information management support team and any other interested participants where we could dedicate time and collaborate closely on getting our ideas implemented. Next, let me outline my plans for the HPC related workshops which should benefit developers and users of high performance simulation software. The Excalibur RSE Knowledge Integration Landscape Review highlighted that there are specialised skills required for the approaching HPC Exascale era, that is, the era of thousandfold increase over current computing capacity. How can we as a community prepare RSEs, both established and potential new talent for such an era? Another issue is that there are many fields where progress is being made on the computing side, and it would be great to derive and share insights, but tracking progress across fields is difficult. Finally, and on a slightly different note, an RSC community of practice-like group was launched at my university earlier this year, and my team and I would love to help it thrive by some means. 
I'd like to make some headway on such issues by hosting two workshops. The first would be targeted at researchers and RSEs who consider themselves established in their field, aiming to get representatives from as many simulation software research fields as possible. I'd call it a congregation of concerns, referencing the computing good practice separation of concerns, but reflecting the fact that if we step back from our code bases and indeed our research fields, there are likely shared challenges, cross-cutting progress that's been made and further commonality that could be explored. The second would be training in some basic skills that Landscape Reviewed identified as being important, which I want to pilot with the Reading RSC group. I anticipate this would be curated rather than created from scratch, and I've already identified the HPC Certification Forum as a potential foundation for competencies to teach, and the HPC Carpentry as a potential source of resources to foster and utilise. Thank you. In line with my ethos of openness, I've created my slides using a personal favourite set of code tools, with all of the code and content contained in a GitHub repository, which I'll make public and use to track the fellowship, should I be successful. I'll close by sharing some information that may be useful if you'd like to learn more about me and my work.